Hi guys, so I've been thinking about something and I would like us to be able to work on some like interesting uh, full stack projects where we could take some popular sites, maybe like Trello, maybe Amazon, maybe Airbnb or any other, um, I'm open for suggestions, and that we try to clone those to some extent. Now the issue with this is that like handling authentication and authorization alone takes a long time and if you have watched my playlist on authentication with REST API you know that that part alone took probably like eight hours or something so starting everything from scratch and doing that every single time is no good really so the plan is like let's use our REST API that we have built in that series and let's use it as a boilerplate for like every other future projects where the tech stack will be the same <laughs> Now, there is some issue with the current state of this REST API. I can open the GitHub. So first off, something about security in our dependencies. We could update our dependencies. It's been a while, um, as you can tell over here by these timestamps. Next, about issues, we have three open. Tests need a refactor, this is true. However, Michael did the testing and I'm not really that good with testing, which I could get better. So for now, I can't really help with this, but I can complete the other two. So. Unauthorized error on sign in after modifying some user data, which is no good. When you log in for the first time, it works, but once you update some user information, it returns unauthorized on each request. So we're going to look into this and we missed some app.use statements. So this guy over here suggests that we also use body parser URL encoded. Um, we were able to get away with this because we did everything via JSON. So this made no difference, but we could include it for a good measure. Um, next to that, uh, yes, let me get back over here. So right now I feel like this REST API is missing something. And uh, this list over here is also compiled with some of your comments. So, okay, we can update everything to latest version, of course. Next, I have been reading more and more how it's actually better to say JSON Web Tokens in cookies instead of local storage, and we have been saving them in local storage. So we could save them in like HTTP only cookie. And what is that going to do for us? Well, JavaScript can't really read cookies, um, HTTP ones. So it would be more secure because JavaScript couldn't like really easily um, read into whatever this cookie uh, contains. Also, we need refresh tokens. That way uh, we are going to issue two sets of tokens. So one token is going to be like the access token and another string is going to be a refresh token. The access token will have really short lifetime and the refresh token will have a really long lifetime. So the idea is that like the client, say React in this example, is going to use access token whenever it wants to authenticate and request some resources. However, once that uh, JWT token expires, the X token I mean, then the React would need to use a refresh token to actually request a new access token which is this time valid. So that is the idea. It's a bit safer because if someone gains access to your access token then he or she will only have access to the site for a short period of time because once it expires then they couldn't use the refresh token to renew that one because they supposedly don't have refresh tokens. However if someone gets like both access tokens and refresh tokens then yes potentially they can do everything but like this is a step in the right direction and also people have been asking for this to be implemented. Once we have that, we can also add some blacklisting, <laughs> blackmailing, no, no, blacklisting options. So if you use say Gmail or something, I think you can go to settings and you can see like review my activity and then you'll be able to see like all the different like devices that you're logged in. Essentially, we're going to treat one access token and one refresh token as like like one device and then either us as admins or users could actually go on and literally like make some refresh tokens and X tokens unavailable. Uh, I never done this by the way, so it's going to be a learning curve for me as well. Um, then we also need to be able to send some emails, especially upon signing up. And I feel that's like 
what majority of apps are doing these days so we need some capabilities built in for sending emails then rate limiting we of course don't want someone to bombard our server with like too many requests and like eat our bandwidth or do all sorts of troubles so we want to implement that one as well uh, maybe change some structure i'm not sure it is up to you guys as well so you probably know the structure that we have right now so if you come to this server folder you see how I have been doing this in the past. Maybe we want to split by features instead. So instead of having like controllers, helpers, models, routes, we have like users. And then inside users, we have file for each of these. And then say we could like split it in users, authentication, dashboard, whatever. Or we can keep this uh, style and just like use it so please uh, tell me what do you think would be better about structure and also like sure if factor something if something's not correct right as it is currently i have been reading some comments about not really being dry in my code because i have kept repeating myself in some places and that is totally true so if i open these users for example we can see that especially like these ones so you see how we use like the same code and i haven't like put that into some function but I just like copy pasted it. So my thinking is maybe this time around we want to implement like a folder that will contain all of our services and then authentication can be one of such services. And then for example, over here, we could just call something like authentication service dot issue token or something and then we just grab token and we send it and all of this logic it's really simple over here but the point still stands is going to be delegated to that authentication service and what's next yes so uh, lately i've been playing a lot with graphql and i kind of like it. it it really has some pros to it and it's it's nice once you get it working because like you don't really have to worry that much about um, routes and, and how you structure those and stuff like that. But also like I don't see REST APIs dying anytime soon. So my thinking was like, do we keep the our tech stack as it is currently or do we change something about it as well? So for example, the Postgres is another candidate. I do have more experience with Mongo database and Postgres will take me a bit longer to do the same thing however I think it's really strong and especially nowadays when you consider the whole fiasco with Mongo version 4 and up license deal yeah I'm not sure for now we could keep Mongo database I mean it's probably like easily switchable anyways and yeah maybe we can even maintain like a couple of boilerplates and then like one boilerplate could contain um, Mongo database with REST API, the other could be Postgres with GraphQL. Yeah, we, we can see. And also I've been thinking about something. You see how right now we have both client and server in the same repo, in the same project, which is nice because you usually need like both. And then this allows you to get started up quickly. However, perhaps our boilerplate would be even more modular if we just maybe pulled the server part out of it then someone else using Vue.js for example could use our boilerplate and wouldn't need to have this react uh, bitjack with it so that's that's another option so as you can tell like I don't have everything figured out I just know like the the big picture what I would like to do next um, so if you watch this video if you've been with me for some time if you are familiar with our REST API series or not really like if you have just watched this video and you understood what I was saying please comment if you have anything to add so for example maybe you can think of some cool full stack project that we could clone maybe you disagree with something over here or you have some suggestions just know that we don't really want to like overflow it with new features we want to have some set of features that will be useful for like every project but of course there are going to be features that we'll need to add particularly for say this project and etc so this should contain like the the most used ones and over here, how do we handle those boilerplates? If you have some ideas as well, please tell me and we can figure it out together. So this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we're going to pretty much clone it and update our dependencies. And then we're going to tackle on the, the refresh tokens, the cookies, the, the blacklisting option, which I'm not really yet sure how it's going to work. And once we're done with these things over here, we're going to tackle the, the following ones. And I might also like add something, especially if you read something 
in the comments and yeah that's it i uh, hope you like what's going on and what i'm going to be working on and i'll see you in the comments and in the next videos thanks for watching and bye for now